Also, try friends and family to grab 144 Priestess messages. I'm here for a collective message today. Keep in mind, this is a general and timeless reading. If you would like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one session, Akashic Records to dive into your soul purpose or past lives or anything else, feel free to check out the box below. It does have everything you need, my website and my email. That is my only website and email. So just be wary of scammers as well. Thank you for all of your love your support, your reflections. I'm sending you all so much love today. And if you resonate with my energy or my readings, feel free to subscribe. We're gonna get right to your reading today. I did choose the color yellow today, so the color yellow can mean something to you. And we're gonna get right to your reading. If you ever see cards fall out and I don't take it, it's because it was not face up. That's why we have the color yellow. That's why we have the color yellow. The sun. Horus. Cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Okay, so there goes that Horus energy. Um, it's that yellow. It's that closing out a cycle and there's some sort of like sun. 144 as I say that and my son's coughing over there. Um, there's like some sort of sun coming out at the end of the cycle. Some sort of sun coming out at the end of a storm. What else do we have for this Horus card? Protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Um, now I have noticed, and we have the gathering over here. So you'll be gathering with like soul tribe, friends, family, whatever it is. <coughs> there is some sort of soul retrieval also going on in the collective in general. I was talking about it with a few... Um, sister priestesses of mine all of the world where there's people experiencing soul retrieval so that's this could resonate with you there's some sort of oof, awakening you could have called back your power as well especially with that in 233 as i said that with that sun card you could have called back all of your power um and cutting cords Cutting cords with timelines that don't resonate with you. It, you know, it's not just cutting cords with people. You're cutting cords with timelines that don't resonate with you. The old parts of you. What else do we have for this reading? There is always enough and past life healing. So I'm not sure how much <laughs> more um, clear that this can be. For some of you with the solar plexus, there was like a past life wound. It could be like self-worth, lack something like that um but it was like past life wounding in the solar plexus uh and you're clearing that because there is always enough there's some sort of abundance energy here beautiful abundance doesn't have to do with money but abundance abundance of joy and knowing who you are and worth and happiness and all of that abundance of everything past life healing soul retrieval cosmic gateway okay so that is that soul retrieval energy I do feel like you're healing past lives right now because the, these two are together. So retrieval and past life healing with Horus. All right. So for some of you, you could have done it with maybe someone like a practitioner. You could do it yourself. Maybe you experienced it in the dream state. We're going to put that one back. It was six of coins, um, but you're calling back an old part of yourself, the lost parts of yourself, maybe the fragmented parts of yourself. You're calling back your power from a past life. Okay, so for some of you, this is very specific about past lives. You're calling back your power. Whatever it is, you're calling back your power. All right, let me set the intention. Divine Mother, Divine Father, Holy Spirit of God. What do we have for this Hecate past life healing? There's always enough protection and horse card. What is a one card energy for the collective today for this reading? Temperance, peace. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Peace alchemy balance get the oneness with the temperance too why the temperance card nine of coins a look at this piece like within your foundation and yourself queen of cups over here nine of coins is a, a card of stability uh, they also have a lot of fruit here All right, and so I feel like you have been calling. You called your power back. That's it. You called your power back. 
And it's all coming back to you for a wand celebration. It's coming back to you. Peace and contentedness. I feel like a balanced foundation. Why the temperance with the nine of coins? For the collective queen of cups again. Okay. This could be water sign energy. It's also just your feminine energy with the queen of cups. The fool card, a brand new star. We're going to grab a clarification for each. Can I have a clarification for the temperance card? Hierophant. Um, this is initiation energy. You already know if you come to my channel, I see the Hierophant as source. It's also the teacher. It's contracts. Why the nine of coins? Eight of swords. You've come out of a contract. For some of you, this is very specific. The moon card over here. I feel like there was like some sort of past life contract that you've broken or coming out of or like blockage. Past life blockage or contract and it's done. It's ended. You're coming out of it. Why the Queen of Cups over here? The Queen of Wands. And you have the Ace of Wands. Ten of Cups right here. We have the Nine of Wands that came out. <coughs> and you know, this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands energy. I feel like you're, you're again, calling back a part of yourself. Because these are both two queens. I think they're the same person. It's you. It's your feminine energy. This is all your feminine energy. Nine of coins, queen of cups. That's the feminine energy where you just are. You just are abundant. The masculine energy is where you work for abundance. Whether you're a masculine identifying or feminine, I am abundant. That's your birthright, 707. Why the nine of wands here? Six of cups. Look at that. Calling back this part of yourself. For some of you, like when it comes to shamanic soul retrieval, it could be a part from a part of you from childhood. Sometimes um, soul fragments are from trauma, from past lives, or whatever it is. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups. You're calling back parts of yourself. And you, why the Six of Cups? Nine of Cups. There's some sort of maturity here too. Knight of Wands over here. Why the Six of Cups with the Nine of Cups, the Hermit card, going within? Look at that, Ten of Coins. You, you really called back your power over here. This is someone who's called back your power. Uh, for some of you, this is literally soul retrieval, retrieving a part of your soul from childhood, retrieving a part of your soul from past life energy. And the Hermit going completely within. Why is the Hermit next to the Nine of Cups? The Hangman, an Awakening, Horus card, Cosmic Gateway, Two of Swords. For some of you, you're really understanding that this is all within yourself. It's not without of you. It's not in the person next to you. It's not in the person on, the tele on your YouTube screen. It's not in the person in this book that you're reading. It's not, it, the power is within you. And I feel like you've dove really deep to do that. As all this card, High Priestess. Alright. Ten of Wands. You've gone deep within the burdens. And this is a Ten of Wands. What comes to mind is like the lotus, that flower that grows out of the mud. Look at the death, like that um, skull and the Ten of Wands that comes out. like pulling it out from the root for some of you like uh, I'm hearing root work maybe that's for you specifically like some sort of root work that you do whatever that means um, I did talk yesterday about pulling something out from the root I you've done some deep healing here whether it's by yourself or with another person um, practitioner whatever it is and you have the full card well the nine of cups was next to the ten of wands so you have something coming in the ego's also a messenger and you have a brand new star with the full card, it's like some sort of rebirth energy too. It's a brand new start, a brand new journey. I'm going to get clarifications for these. What? Why the Ten of Wands here? The Moon card. So you've had to travel into the subconscious. Like it just feels like something that was very, very deep that maybe, again, Ten of Swords. Something you couldn't see. The unseen energy, Ten of Wands, the Moon card. 
and there goes the lotus flower of growing out of the mud so this is actually a confirmation because the lotus flower is right here growing out of the mud and that's exactly what i saw here even though the lotus flower is not there you've had to have gone very deep with this especially with the virgo card that um, the hermit which is the virgo energy deep within your subconscious deep within yourself it's like for some of you, maybe you really have worked with like a shaman because when it comes to shamanic soul retrieval, they go into the underworld and they retrieve those parts of um, your soul. When, when it comes to shamanic soul retrieval. For others of you, it's just doing that deep shadow work of going deep within the moon card with the ten of wands. Going deep to the root. The moon illuminates the unseen. Why the knight of cups? Beautiful. What does all that work bring? Celebration. The magician. You're manifesting something. There's a song by Landrell says, I'm manifesting something. I think that's, and that's literally what he says. I think it's called manifesting money mantra. It's like, I'm manifesting something. And if there's some money here, you know, um, three of coins, four of wands. We do have the horse card, cosmic gateway. Um, I don't know why I, I do feel like some of you, as far as like ritual, like do some sort of root work or like road opening. Like I don't do any of that. But I'm just getting that energy, so take that as it resonates. Three of coins, four of wands. This is coming in. When you pull this out from the root, this was like a blockage from another lifetime. Again, for some of you, it's like that soul retrieval energy. Why the fool card? <coughs> Why the fool card? Seven of coins. Why the fool card with the seven of coins? eight of cups you have the ten of coins on the bottom of the deck okay so there's beautiful things coming in here for some of you you could be traveling walking away from something into something new that's bringing great abundance and i get a message as soon as i say that you're walking away from one thing and this doesn't have to be physically it could be you deciding to walk away from all the old parts of you to walk into something new, seven of coins, you're walking into a new foundation. Again, it could just be you. You are the new foundation, which that's how it starts anyway. For some of you, like you've walked away from a job. You're walking away from your hometown. You're walking away from something into something new. And now I'm hearing the song Something New by Wiz Khalifa. So all the songs can like mean something to you. You have the ten of coins on the bottom of the deck. So what are you walking into? The ten of coins. This Knight of Cups, the celebration is coming in. You're either going to receive this or you're walking towards this. But either way, you are going to start something new. Some of you have moved. Some of you will move. Some of you, it's like you're just energetically moving and walking away. One more card for the Seven of Coins and Eight of Cups. You have the King of Wands over here. So now that's the masculine energy. This could be your masculine energy. Because it's just energy of the Ten of Cups over here too. It could be with family, connections. And this card almost came out, but I did it. You're taking some sort of action. With the King of Wands energy. King of Wands is masculine energy. It's also the fire energy. You have the Eight of Wands here, so that's coming in. Um, inspired action. Taking action when it comes to doing whatever it is that you're led to do. This new start. Why is the King of Wands here? The Knight of Swords, it's coming in quick. Why is the King of Wands here? Page of Wands, why is the King of Wands here? Strength card. So there goes that strength card that I saw. Again, with the Page of Wands, it's inspired action, inspired like passion, some sort of passion. You have the strength card too. Um, so you're really being called to do something. That's what I'm getting is being getting the call to do something. And the Knight of Swords with the King of Wands is like taking that action to do that. All right, that's what I have for you. For your advice, so far I have the Eight of Coins, and she's crying as she's working. <laughs> um, I, I do get that energy, though, of inspired action and doing the work. It's like you've wished upon a star, now it's time to do something. You have King of Swords and then the Seven of Wands. It's also like protecting and the Ten of Cups over here. King of Swords is very logical. Um, makes just clear-cut decisions, Seven of Wands. Okay, I know what this is. For some of you, there's advice that now that you've cleared all this, you've done a lot of healing, there's things coming in. Now it's time to, again, that Virgo energy. 
This could also do with Mercury retrograde, King of Swords, uh, Gemini energy, air energy, also ruled by Mercury. Now is the time to... I'm getting cross your T's and dot your I's with work, especially. You've done all this stuff, you've done all the healing, and it's a balance of wish upon a star, and now let me actually take some inspired action. Um, there's some need for you to look at the attention of attention to detail when it comes to your work. Seven of Wands, King of Swords, and Eight of Coins. I'm getting like a meticulous, and it is the Virgo energy though too, a even though it's not an air sign. It's that meticulous ener <coughs> energy of looking at the details. There's some energy from you that's, that's going to start doing that. Planning. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of that masculine energy. So you've been in the feminine energy, beautiful feminine energy, healing, doing, calling in the abundance. And now it's your masculine energy, king of wands over here, fire energy, and then the king of swords, which is using the mind um, to take that action and to take control of the foundation. So that's your advice. My son calls me every single time that there's a commercial. <laughs> so we're going to grab um, a few more oracle cards of advice over here. So this is beautiful energy. You've, t you've rested. You've done a lot of healing. Now it's time to actually do the work. Now it's time to take inspired action, however it is that you're led. What advice do I have for this reading? I c this is so clear that I'm not going to grab any other oracle card. Abundance, okay? Abundance is coming in for you. Fortune, wealth, plenty. This card literally says effort plus intention. Achievement. All right? It's a balance of your masculine and feminine. You cannot be too much in your feminine. You cannot be too much in your masculine where you're just masculine energy doing action all the time. You can't do that. You got to go into the feminine. You can't be just in the feminine where you're just resting and flowing. There's a little bit of the masculine energy. And that is literally effort, which is the masculine energy plus intention, the feminine. The feminine manifests. The masculine energy does the work. All right. So this is a big message for this reading. Uh, the main message for this reading is, yes, Horus energy the sun energy here with the yellow light you're calling this in but now it's time for the effort effort plus intention brings achievement beautiful message that's what i have uh, that's what i have for you i do hope that this resonates if you would like a personal reading akashic record session where we do dive into soul retrieval for akashic records um so feel free to check that out or just ask me if you have any questions at all any courses for this month or anything else I hope that you have a great day. I'm sending you so much abundance, so much love. There is always enough. And I hope that you have a great day.